Right, so I'm going to just do another test with this. It's an SD card through USB. I've accidentally formatted it. It's got RAW pictures on, JPEG pictures on and video. So I'm going to see if our photo from our studios will get it off. The more I get look into this, the better I like the looks of this R photo and R studio. It's probably the one I'm gonna buy. But well, this is a free tool, they got you get free undelete home, which is brilliant for USBs. R photo, which we're gonna use now. So it's sixty two it's the download page. And you can get photos and video from pretty much most regularly used for Windows anyway file systems so there you go you've got a Windows system this is an excellent free tool if you accidentally wipe your SSD card with all your photos on it so I've got it in I'll just check what it is What? drive number it's got I'm not sure if we've got another USB plug then okay, so I'll format that So it's just loading up. So I want to click this 3.7 gigabyte, which is the USB, show files. So it's showing nothing. Give it a deep scan. It's going to take a few minutes. So this is without a doubt the best software though. probably end up buying the technician or I'll probably start off with the pro data recovery just to do a bit more practice or even the undelete or undelete but it is brilliant the best I've used anyway so far so there you go I've got all of the raw files all of the JPEGs and more, I think. I can't remember taking all them, but and the free videos. So I'll just uh, select them all. And recover. So I'll select to documents so mp freeze sorry <laughs> mp4 Really exciting videos. I'm not sure if they are MP4s actually. MTS file. And then Sony RAW. So it's fat Sony RAWs and JPEGs. So brilliant. It's another excellent piece of free software from them our studio so 
I'd buy on, I'm going to buy on, delete, got photo, got undelete home, two brilliant free softwares. But I think I'll try the undelete next, buy it and just play with that for a bit and then get one of the pro versions. So that's excellent for getting photos. If you accidentally delete your SD card or format it, which I've done loads of times in the past I have, and then you have to go and do it all over again. 